Salve amicis, ego et Julius, hoc est dinunti. As you can tell by my pronunciation, grammar, and word choice, I'm among the select seven or so billion people who do not speak Latin as a primary language. In fact, everybody says that Latin is a dead language and nobody speaks it outside. But that's not exactly true, as we in the science, medicine, law, and education biz know very, very well. Latin is still regularly used in all of these disciplines, mostly for descriptions of things. So while Latin is definitely dead, it isn't extinct, which is the term we use for languages which have no speakers or continued usage. In fact, Latin is kind of a victus mortis, or a zombie language. It's dead, but lives on in describing animal species, parts of the body, legal principles, debate tactics, and a lot more. But why? Why do we use Ursus Maritimus instead of polar bear? Well, the, and this makes scientific naming and notation particularly standardized, even when we discovered new things to be named. All species have a two-part scientific designation called binomial nomenclature, or its Latin name. The application of these names is governed by the International Code of Zoological Nomenclature, the ICZN, and the International Code of Nomenclature for Algae, Fungi, and Plants, the ICN. The first name is called the generic epithet and is usually the genus, while the second is a specific epithet or the species. Sometimes there's even a third name for a subspecies included. So we, Homo sapiens, are of the genus Homo, meaning man, which also includes Neanderthals and other hominids. But specifically, we are sapiens, meaning wise. As a group, we are wise men, and women, of course. An advantage of using a dead language is that it doesn't favor any particular group. It's decidedly neutral, which is great for things like law and medicine. If we call a disease grossitosis, while another culture calls it awesomeitis, you're gonna end up with different reactions by doctors and the public for the same disease. Calling it simply pneumonia removes any confusion or bias. Dead languages might be dead, but just because something is dead doesn't mean it isn't amazing, influential, and widely respected. 